Hello everybody! In this spreadsheet tutorial we're going to go over how to add unit labels to your cells and still be able to perform calculations. So for example if you wanted to add a unit label of miles or meters or kilometers or feet or inches or ounces or anything like that and still be able to multiply or add or subtract the numbers in those cells with those unit labels we're going to show you how to do that. So first things first let's go ahead and show you that if you try to put a number with text in a cell. So let's just type in 10 miles and then we're going to type in 20 miles and if you try to sum that you can see that you get zero. Now let's go ahead and delete that and let's show you a way to create a custom format. So here we have two examples we're going to create custom formats for. We have some vacation travel, and we want to add miles to these numbers. And then we're just going to pretend we went on a fishing trip, and we caught three fish, and we want to add the weight to these fish. And in this example, we want to add pounds to these. So for our vacation travel, here we have the sum of cells B2 through B4. And just to show you, we'll go ahead and do that again. So we have sum. We'll put in our arguments of 100 miles, 125 miles, 175 miles. We get 400 miles. And here we have the sum of cells B8 through B10 of the weight of the fish that we caught. So we want to add the unit labels of miles to these numbers and the unit label of pounds to these numbers here. You want to go up to Format, Number, go down to More Formats, and then go to Custom Number Format right here. Okay, so click on custom number format. So the first thing you want to do is specify the number type. And in many cases, this number type right here will work just fine, the 0.00, .00 for a decimal type. If there are other number types that you want to use, just refer to this scrollable list here. So you can see how the different number types over here on the right are created with the different specifications over here on the left, okay? So like I said, for our example, we're just going to use 0.00. .00. And then to create the specific unit, you just want to use double quotes and then type the units that you want. Now in Google Sheets, it appears that you can create up to five custom number formats. Okay. Now let's apply our custom number formats. So let's go to our format number and we have our miles that we created earlier. And you can see this sum function is still working just fine. And you can also see that when we click on these different cells, even though it says miles in the cell, the actual number in the cell is just that. It's an actual number, which is different from something like this, where you can see when you click on this cell, in this actual cell is the number 100 plus the text string miles, okay? So this is just a number using format, and this is a text string. And as we showed earlier, you cannot perform calculations when you have a text string. So now let's apply our units to the fish that we caught. And we want to apply pounds to these numbers. So we're going to go up to Format, Number. Let's go to Custom Number Format. And we don't currently have pounds created. So let's go ahead and create it. 0.00, .00 double quote, pounds, double quote. Click Apply, and you can see we have the sum function to sum the 15, 18, and 11 pound fish that we caught. Everything's still working just fine. The calculation works fine, and we have our units assigned to our numbers. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. To allow unit labels in your cells with your numbers and still be able to perform calculations, go up to Format, Number, go down to More Formats, Custom Number Format, choose the type of number that you would like, and then put the units in quotes right after your number and then hit apply. Okay, now let's show you how to do the same thing in the numbers spreadsheet application for the Mac. Okay, so here we are in our numbers spreadsheet. We have the same examples from our previous Google spreadsheet. So in numbers, to create the special unit labels, you want to go to format, and if it's not showing, just go ahead and click on the paintbrush, go to cell, then go to data format, Click on your drop down here, create custom format. And something a little bit different in the numbers application is when you determine the type of number you want, it's best not to type it. You want to go ahead and click on it and drag it up like that. So let's delete those 
and we want a decibel number type. So let's drag that up. And then we don't have to put our label in quotes. So let's just put a space. Let's type out miles. And let's give this a name. So let's just call this miles. And now we can hit OK. And you can see the label has been applied. So let's apply that label to the other two. And then let's perform a calculation. So we have our miles here. We've applied it. Now let's perform a calculation. Let's do a sum. Type out sum. And let's put on our 100, 125, and 175. Click the check mark. And you can see the calculation works just fine, even though we have our labels in the cells. Okay? And again, similar to in our Google Sheets, if you click on the cell, notice down here on the bottom, what's actually in that cell is the number 100. Even though it's showing 100 miles, what's actually in the cell is 100, and that's what allows these calculations to still be performed. So if you type in 100 miles, these two cells look the same, but if you click on this cell, you can see it's just the number 100. You click on this cell, and you can see that's actually considered a text string by the application. So let's go ahead and create our unit labels for the pounds for the fish. Again, we want to go to Format, Cell, Data Format, click on our dropdown, Create Custom Format. Let's name this Pounds. Let's get rid of that. Drag up our decimal, Space, and just type the word Pounds, and click OK. Now we can type Sum to perform our calculation, sum up these numbers, click the check mark, and we get 44 pounds. Now if you want to create these custom format unit labels in Excel, you're going to be able to do this similar to how we've done it in Google Sheets and in Numbers. There might be some slight differences. I believe you can click on a cell and then use the keyboard shortcut Control-1 and then just go to the custom format and create your special unit labels similar to how we've shown how to do it in the Google Sheets and the Numbers for Mac. Okay, so that's it for this spreadsheet tutorial. We will be doing many more spreadsheet tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.